Ethiopia is old. As Abyssinia, its culture and traditions date back over 3,000 years. With an estimated 115 million inhabitants, Ethiopia is currently the second most populous country in Africa. The country is characterized by cultural diversity, with more than 80 ethnic groups and 90 local languages. Ethiopia is also endowed with rich and untapped natural resources. Ethiopia's economy experienced strong, broad-based growth, averaging 9.8% annually for a decade from 2008 to 2018. According to the International Monetary Fund, since 1990, Ethiopia's per capita income has risen by about 200%, life expectancy increased by about 10 years in a decade, and infant mortality was reduced by half. Despite such economic performance, the country remains one of the poorest countries in the world with per capita annual income the government estimates at 883 USD. More than 27 million people are still living below the national poverty line. Hawassa is the capital of Sidama region, one of the 11 regions of Ethiopia. Hawassa Zuria Wereda constitutes the surrounding abelis of Hawassa. The Hawassa Zuria Wereda suffers from many challenges. Here in Hawassa Zuria, we have basic economic, social and environmental problems. There is food shortage. There is also shortage of farmland. The residents keep migrating. Farmers are vulnerable to drought. Shortage of potable water is another problem. The unemployment is rampant. In Hawassa Zuria Wereda, monocropping is the major source of farming, where farmers cultivate maize once a year, relying on rain. Some of the people who even own plots of land say they preferred leasing their land and engage in fishing as a means of subsistence. Farmers who did not engage in farming recall how they suffered from the meager income they used to earn from fishing in their old ways of life. I had a very poor family. My wife bore a child, but I used to get drunk. The child was raised in another family. I did not have regular income. Whatever money I got, I used it to spend on drinking alcohol. I had no savings. I sometimes earned 200 or even 400 per a day. And there were times when I got 50 or 5 per or nothing at all. I used to drink locally brewed alcohol. I fish and sell that I could, not, I could catch. Then I run with my friends to the town where we would cheer up. We did this routinely. We would get drunk. We used to go back to the lake to cool ourselves off. When I suddenly got back to my senses and thought of my wife, I brought her some flour. I got some money by lending my land, but I spent the money on drinking. Oftentimes we had nothing to eat. Once in a while he brought us one kilogram of flour. Normally that would be good enough just for a day, but I used that sparingly for three days. He used to bother me so often. He might beat me eight times a day. People advised me to run away fearing he could kill me, but I refused to leave him. I had trust in God that he would change my life, and he didn't fail me. I used to fish and sell it with my friends. I used to spend the money eating and drinking with my friends. I own a plot of land, but I rent it to my brother. I spent all the money he paid me extravagantly. I didn't even buy cattle because I didn't want to bother about tending them. All I did with the money was eating and wearing new clothes. My only source of income was fishing. I used to earn up to 200 per a day, but I used to spend it all on alcohol drinking. Squandering whatever I got was all what we used to do. Dorcas Ethiopia, an international NGO working in relief and development, has been implementing the Hawassa Zuria Agriculture and Livelihood Development Project in six Kabbalis of the Hawassa Zuria Warada since September 2014. The overall goal of the project was to help improve the food security situation of the target community in the district. The intervention focuses on agricultural development and livelihood improvements for the beneficiary households through improved vegetable production and sustainable farming and marketing practices. To that end, Dorcas Ethiopia introduced the local community with improved quality of produce, applying modern threshing technology, and enhanced their access to agricultural input through farmers' cooperatives, as well as raised the community's awareness of soil and water conservation, which they were able to put into practice. Dorcas organized us. It also trained us. I started feeling good. 
They provided us seed money. Dorcas gave us training. I started working on my farm. Dorcas came and gave us direction. They showed us how to work. They trained us. They also gave us onion seeds. I took the training Dorcas provided. Then I started plowing my land. After Dorcas came, we were organized in an association. We were drawn from 24 households. Previously, we used to grow only maize and herd cattle. After they organized us, they also gave us a variety of seeds, onions, tomato, cabbages, etc. Here, most people are poor. Though we had our own land, we did not make use of it. It was only after we took the training that our lives really improved. We took the training about the seed. They taught us how to care for the seedling. They took us to the farm and provided us hands-on training. They showed us how to cultivate our land. So we put into practice what they taught us. In six Kabbalis, where it was implemented, thousands of people have benefited from the project, either directly or indirectly. Access to food has improved significantly. Productivity of major food crops increased due to improved access to and use of agricultural inputs and enhanced knowledge of agricultural practices reinforced by better soil and water conservation efforts. A significant number of the beneficiaries were able to raise their incomes in the lifetime of the project. Enhanced access to and use of improved vegetable varieties, coupled with much better agricultural practices, have enabled them to become so productive that they could harvest vegetables both for own consumptions and for the market. This also meant improved dietary pattern for many of the households as their menu grew in varieties of food containing carbohydrates, protein, vitamins, and minerals. As farmers' produce grew in volume, they are now able to cover their consumption for an extended period. With the growth in their income, they can even purchase their deficit from the market, as opposed to what had been the case at the inception of the project. Thank God I have a different life now. I'm able to do what people do. After 2008, my life changed remarkably. I bought cattle. I became a man of some values for my neighborhood and local government. My offering to the church has increased. I earn 24,000 up to 50,000 per quarterly. With that income, I can buy more seeds. I cultivate my land. I am not able to improve my family's life. Where we sleep, what we eat has really changed. We eat variety of food now. We eat maize and set, false banana teif, wheat, as well as meat and butter. There's nothing we don't eat. We are able to eat what we fish to eat. Now my son is 12, it is my responsibility to care for him. He is in grade 4. First, I sent him to a public school. As my income grew, I sent him to a private school. Eight years ago, I had no plan for the future. Now I plan a lot of things. I bought farmland. I also bought a house. People in my neighborhood gave me a nickname, Dorcas. Dorcas. <laughs> We had nothing to eat, nor a good clothes to wear. But now I feed my children any food of their choice. We're able even to help others. I recruited two workers on my farm. We trained and coached them. They come from afar. We help them buy cattle. We will keep supporting them. While they work on the farm, I prepare food and coffee for them. I share my experience with them. Now we have bought a generator. But in the past, I used to water my farm by hand. It was really tiresome. After Dorcas came, I have changed a lot. I did not know how to farm in the modern way. Now I'm able to buy a generator. I also have money. Now we are making profits. We even save money in the bank. We eat variety of food. After Dorcas came, as you can see, people have built houses, bought plots of land in the city, owned many cattle, and they were sending their children to school. There's a lot of change. For instance, I myself have bought a house in Awasa city. I sent my children to school. I built a house here. Now we eat variety of food, beetroot, tomato, cabbage. In the past, we used to eat only maize with milk throughout the year. Thank God, this is my farm.
Dorcas Ethiopia also provides other supports, as well as responds to the call of the community when there's a dire need to meet. Unemployment being one of the major challenges of the Wereda, Dorcas Ethiopia carried out a rural enterprise development project aimed at mitigating youth unemployment within and outside agriculture. The project trains the youth organized in small and micro enterprises, SMEs, in life skills and business development. Youth members of these SMEs are now engaged in different micro businesses and able to earn better incomes. The SMEs were made to get access to loan and engage in services, manufacturing, agriculture, and different petty trades. Their business management and bookkeeping skills have significantly improved. <laughs> At first, the youth were not willing to get organized in associations and run their own business. They were highly interested to engage in civil services. That is what they used to consider job. This attitude has now fundamentally changed. What is pleasant is that they started organizing themselves. They couldn't even let us sleep. They got organized and knocked our offices to demand credit. They started micro enterprise businesses, got trained and even created job opportunities for others. They create jobs at least for one or two people. That is quite a big result. Previously, I was jobless. I took 50,000 bird loan with five other people. But first I saved some money. We sell coffee and food with my friends. After I started this job, the Lord has helped us and our life has improved drastically. My sons are 10 and 6. They are going to school now. As she said, we were organizing groups of five. We saved, took loans, and started businesses. I had no job. After Dorcas came, we were able to learn how to do business. We did not have know-how before. We were novices for business. They trained us even how to cook and prepare Porsches. They taught us how to effectively use cooking oil. Now we were able to feed others, let alone ourselves. We had about 15 chairs before. Now we have 30, 40 chairs for people to sit on. We have a plan to expand our services to make coffee with milk, by the cafe latte making machine, we are currently renewing our cafe. We had 450 chickens. We sold 150 for the holiday. We earned about 60,000 bird. We started with just five chickens and grew to 450 chickens. So we raised our capital. Our vision is to expand our business further and inspire others. People in the neighborhood are already following our example. Dorcas supported us to reach where we are today. They trained and organized us. We discussed in our association and decided to start poultry with just five chickens. We shared that idea with Dorcas, and they encouraged us to move on and keep expanding. We have now reached here. In the past, I had meager income. I was not able to eat and wear as I wish. Now I'm way better. I feed my children very well. They eat bread, eggs, etc. There's quite a lot of change. Dorcas encourages us, they follow us up, they give us chicken fodder and some other materials. Dorcas Ethiopia works together in a multi-stakeholder approach and strongly believes in the need to work together. The project has been closely working with local cooperatives, community institutions, local and zonal agriculture offices, and other key stakeholders. The stakeholders have contributed to the realization of the project's goal according to their competencies. That makes this project unique. Dorcas, uh, partnership. Our partnership with Darkos is demand-driven. The regional government had allocated funds, but didn't work. We didn't get results because loan was given to the youth who were not trained. They started work without their training problem and lack of skill not properly addressed. Dorcas was working with the agricultural office, so we made a formal request. The project manager, Atosafla, accepted our request and project was developed and implementation started as a pilot. Those who received the training understood how to run a business very well. They are good at customer service. They know very well how to manage finance. They keep out of their asset. They know their profit and losses. As a Sadama region, our major challenge is unemployment of youth. That is what we are working on as a region in Wereda, Dorcas has been working with us and filling the gap of the government. On our part, we identify those unemployed youth and organize them. Then Dorcas trains them on livelihood skills and business plan development. Then credit is provided to them. We have witnessed many results with those who started business after receiving training. We couldn't have trained all the unemployment youth we identified. 
The empowerments in knowledge, skills, and other aspects will enable the community to sustain the results achieved so far, even in the absence of Dorcas Ethiopia's resources. I had no generator, but now I have two. I invested 19,000 birth and installed the PVC water pipe to irrigate my farm. I now have six goats, three heads of cattle. I will herd them. I will not back off. I have plans to buy a house in the city. I also want to buy a car. Even if Dorcas would leave, we have the knowledge they are able to transfer us. Now we have many head of cattle. We can sell that and buy seeds. We have generator. We have money. I don't want Dorcas to leave because there are many poor people who are like what I used to be. I want them to be trained and benefit like me. The results achieved through the intervention of Dorcas Ethiopia is remarkable. However, there are still areas of intervention for Dorcas Ethiopia to bring more impact and change the lives of many more.